Today we're going to everyone's favorite spot, the beach tide pool, in search of some awesome sea creatures, and we're gonna look for them even into the night. Our goal today is to get to the beach, try to catch a shark, and then move into the night and try to search through those tide pools to see what kind of creepy stuff we can find lurking about. Let's jump into it. This has gotta be one of the coolest things I've ever found on the drone. I'm literally shocked. My jaw is on the floor. Guys, first ever sighting, I have found Mahi Mahi. He's lurking. That's my bait, that's my bait right there. Guys, I think we're gonna have a shark on right now. Ah, we're on it, baby! Tide pool of blood right here. Four right here. Got him, Yes. got him, baby. Got him. What is that? It's like 20, bro. A lot of fish right here, infestation. And look at what we found crawling around here. Right when we pulled up, you guys know I love flying the drone, and the most, ins this has gotta be one of the coolest things I've ever found on the drone. I'm literally shocked. My jaw is on the floor. When I saw, I immediately, right when I fl uh, flew the drone up, right in front of us, I see a literal giant black school bus swimming in the ocean. No joke, this thing is probably 10 to 12 feet across. He is massive, a giant manta ray. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen one of these on the drone. I've seen eagle rays before, but this manta ray is ridiculously freaking cool. One of the most gorgeous animals I've ever seen. So pretty, the way he just swims through the waves here, and he's actually so close to us. He's right next to the surf, right in that sunlight and he is one giant animal. I try to fly really close on him to get a good look at him, but then when I scale up and fly up really high in the air, you can really see just how massive this thing is. I'm not even kidding you guys, that's probably the biggest and coolest thing I've ever found on the drone. What a sick find to start the day. That was, I literally flew the drone up for two seconds and I find this insane manta ray. I Me and Jack have swam with these things before in Hawaii, and they are the coolest things in the entire world to swim with, they're so dope. This guy's just cruising along the beach here. Absolutely sick. But now, I'm flying down two seconds later. This is what we were kind of after already, right off rip. After I find that manta ray, a nice old black tip shark right here on the screen. Really? Yep, it's cruising along the surf. First one we found today in that <coughs> crystal clear water. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. That's Damn, insane. That's so sick. we brought a shark rod, we brought some dead mullet. That's what we want to go after. We want to try, before the sun goes down, we want to really try to catch a big shark if we can. If not, we kind of got here a little late. We want to spend like the next, next time we come back, we want to spend like a whole day going after these black tips because they are everywhere. Now the mullet are here, they're all over the place. So a giant manta ray and a black tip shark right off rip. Let's see what else we can find as we're walking to our spot. Now, right when I'm on that one black tip shark, I'm, I'm flying down on it and I see another one right next to it. And I tried to get me and Jack in the frame of the drone shot. I'm waving at the camera a little bit and you guys can see just how close we are to these black tips. They're really around the beaches all over the place. And you can see they're right swimming next to all these people here. And I'm just finding endless amounts of black tips as I fly the drone down the beach. So we could easily catch one of these before the sun goes down and then we can search in that tide pool later at night. But we are gonna try. We brought the shark rig and everything. There's Jack over there rigging up. We got the shark rod. We got uh, all of our stuff that we need for the tide pool and for the sharks. And I'm telling you guys, it's an endless amount of, uh, of sharks up and down these beaches. But that manta ray was just a cherry on top. Let's see if we can even find like a hammerhead or a tiger shark. That would be so freaking cool right before the sun goes down. Are you ready? ready to, yeah, dude, we've seen two. Uh, there's, in the... there's one right there coming right at us. Oh, I have a weight on. What does that mean? I mean, I could sling it out there. I don't know what that means, but we're locked and loaded. Like Chris was saying, we did bring some big old baits with us. We grabbed at the tack shop, Seven Seas. We picked up uh, some big old juicy mullet that you guys have been seeing us catch recently. That's what these sharks are looking for. Just to have assurance if we can't find any while we're out here, we at least we have some dead bait. But I also got this thing right here. This little sand spike, which is gonna be great. Keeps the rod out there. I don't have to hold it the whole time, but tell you what, you guys, winter is coming. And I'll tell you what, I'm starting to feel it in the air. Take a look at how beautiful it is out here. It is absolutely gorgeous. It just feels good. It's it feels good. Right. I am in my, I'm, feeling, in my, I'm in my hoodie right yeah, now. Yeah, Chris is hooded up. I'm in my uh, Chris is hooded up. We gotta respect the locals. That's I fire. like to go. I like to wear an XL. I like to overdo the hoodies. Yeah, I agree. It's comfy, cozy, bro. I cozy right I now. I agree. I agree. Dude, so, there's a shark right there. We're seeing sharks. We're seeing big fish. I think it's time to uh, set up camp in the destination that we want to be in. Let's see if we can pull in one of these big ones. I, I've got a I weird a feeling it's gonna happen. All right, Chris is located. He's seen about five or six sharks already. So many. We just walked a little bit closer to Typo. We still have a few hundred yards to go, but we're gonna go ahead, fire a bait out right now, because see if we get lucky, dude. While we at least have the bird in the sky, it'd just be great freaking content if we can catch one right now. And there's one right there to my approx approximation. So Jack can get it casted like 
maybe straight ahead right here. There's one right here swimming right towards us. So we're in a good position here. We're in a great position. We're gonna go with just, just a half. Nothing really? too crazy. Okay. Got a wire rig, nice big old hook. Look at that hook right there. Nice hook right there. That's a nice one. Hook it right here. Hook always exposed the most you can have it. So you don't want your bait to rip out, but you wanna make sure the hook can rip out of the bait. Just like that, that's gonna do the trick. Let's fire, let's fire away. I see the drone. Let's see what you got. This let's... isn't gonna go very far. Oh, you better whip it far. I'm talking far, far, dude. Hit him with a yeet. Yeet! There it is. Jack has sent his bait away. That should do it. I don't even know where it went. I saw it. All right. Pretty far. <laughs> All right, cool. Bait out in the water. Sun's coming down. The sharks are out to play. And I'm feeling nasty for a shark. It's been a little nasty out here. I want one bad. It's been a little nasty. Oh my god, we have no line on this reel. It's fine, dude. Barely any line on this reel. It's a van stall. Nice, dude. That's nasty. Let's see if we can catch one. Please, can we get a bite? All right, we got the rod out there. Now we're just waiting. Chris has the bird in the sky right now. He's uh, He sees some fish. There's like five tarpon right in front of us, but they're not going to even dead mold. They might. I don't don't put it past them. I know. The moon's coming out. Look at that moon out there. I'm pissed, dude. I, we should have got here earlier. Drop a like on this video. I, I, I'm crossing my fingers that we can catch something, like a shark, that'd be cool. We really came for the for the nighttime tide pool. Drop a like on this video if you guys think we should come earlier and do a full day shark fishing, catching some big donkey sharks. Drop a like on this video. I'm a little bit pissed that we got here a little late, but we still get one. I'm still holding out hope. Shark inbound, ladies and gentlemen, he is in the strike zone. Major. I don't oh know, God. I don't know if he's gonna eat it, but. He, needs, he looks pretty high up. You just did such a small bait, bro. That's what he dude, looks like. He me. smells it over. Just trust me. Okay, we, we have a black tip right in front of us, guys. I got to literally directly in front of us. He's lurking. That's my bait. That's my bait right there. That's my bait. No way. Yes, he just went up to it, bro. Okay, wait, he's circling back. He's coming. He's circling back. Everyone, hold on to your. Sh no, he's laughing. He's leaving. No, he's not leaving. He's leaving. He just left the area. Yeah, you're literally right off the beat. That was my bait. He, he left. left. He left. He saw it. I think he saw. I think he saw the weight or something. Bro. He saw he something. Spooked. He didn't he like spooked. something. He didn't like something. He did not like something. I saw him spook, guys. He came right up to the might bait. Might have seen the wire or something. He might have saw something and just. He did a real quick movement and dipped. See, that's out. why we need to get dark. Then they can't see. They get stupid. There is multiple uh, sharks inbound. Told you I'm in that. I, mean, I told you I'm in that zone. Yeah, you're in the zone. Guys, I think we're gonna have a shark on right now. This is. We've been waiting for a while. Did he just eat it? I don't know. He's on it. He's on our bait. He just swam right past it. He just swam right past our bait, guys. I'm trying to catch it on the drone and talk at the same time. Dude, they see they see the They see something. They see something. He just left. He swam right up to it and No, left. he didn't. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe the captain. You can't believe guys. everything you hear. Jack put a shark bait out on the rod and it's a one inch mullet head. That's it so needs, not true. It needs to be a full mullet, dude. No, you want the juices, bro. We had a It's uh, gonna happen. That's number two. That's the second. I'm telling you, as they up. get as it gets darker, they're gonna Nail it. All right, we'll see. And as the sun's coming down, what do you know, guys? The manta ray, the big, the big beast, is on his way back north. He, he went down south, turned around, and he is swimming back towards us. That would be actually insane to catch. I would never want to catch one of those, but that is such a cool, a, such a cool animal. At this height, a black tip shark would be like a little speck on the drone, and he is like huge. So maybe the, we might see a black tip try to go after him. That would be pretty insane. Definitely a cool find, but something that we do are not gonna catch. But hopefully a black tip will swim by now and crush our mullet. Guys, first ever sighting, I have found Mahi Mahi off of the freaking beach. I told you those birds were on them. Dude, I literally flew down on a bait pot and I, I'm following right now a little lime green and blue Mahi Mahi. This is insane. They're so close Dude, to the beach. Dude, they're in like 20 feet of water. They're so close to the beach. I'm gonna try to get low on them, but I do not wanna lose them. They're the fastest fish ever. That is so cool. First ever time capturing a mahi mahi on the beach. That's insane. I can't believe that. That's yeah, there's insane, those birds. Bro. So if you look way out in the horizon, oh, there's no way you're gonna see them. But I kept seeing these birds diving and I'm seeing Valley jump. I'm like, we gotta get over there. That is it. That is actually like. Dude, he's so fast, bro. Absolutely incredible that what you guys are seeing right now is a mahi mahi captured on a drone from, from the, the sand. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I cannot believe that right now. That's, That's the so best cool. find ever. That's so cool, bro. That's the first Mahi I've seen all year, which is kind of sad, but. He is hauling. He's hauling, but look at the colors on that fish, dude. Lime green, blue fins, so sick. I can't believe I saw him, but we've seen some crazy stuff today. Manta Ray, a freaking Mahi. That's incredible. That's so bad. I I'm following him until my drone runs out of battery. That is insane. I want to see if he wants to eat something. He is so fast. Dude, now we know how to catch him. 
There's two, three. What? Is there a school? School. school How big them. are they? School of them. Look at them all. Holy crap, Let's look at all of them. them. All you see is their super blue pectoral fins. I want to find Darting the through the water. That is absolutely incredible. That's if we sick. were on the boat right now, we'd be hauling full throttle right at them, throwing a lure, and those fish, they are the fastest growing fish in the ocean for a reason. They eat just about anything. If you get in them good, you can catch them on a bear hook. I'm not even kidding. That is just incredible that we are two, seeing. Dude, I'm on two mahis right now. Two mahi mahi. <laughs> I'm on two Ripping mahis. it down the beach right now. I'm on two mahis, bro. It's sick. That is incredible. I'm trying to I'm trying to follow them until I see the school of see like the, 50 See them on land. Because they are in thick schools. My Let's God. go. That one's a hoss, That one bro. is a big one. The one in the front is a hoss. You guys, we need to get the boat back so damn bad. My boat just broke down like three days ago when we were trying to go film a video. I was getting a weird error code on my engine. That thing's out of commission. Chris's boat's getting fixed up, getting all repaired because it's about to be an epic winter of some crazy, awesome action offshore. And those challenge videos are coming again. It's going to be freaking epic. Wow. Mahis, wahoos, sailfish, kingfish, tunas, you name it, we're going to start catching them. And maybe we can in incorporate the drone. That is so freaking epic. Holy sh there's four. They're all coming together again. That one's a hog on the left. There's four. Four mines. Five. To school. They're just ripping it in the shallow. I cannot believe that right now. Five mahis. Five mahis. All on the drone, just chilling. That is so damn cool. That's the coolest thing ever, bro. I think I, I think I gotta come back. I'm so far offshore. Those fish, those fish are literally in like 30 feet of water. And the funniest part is that most people think you gotta go so, so damn far to catch them. Thousand feet of water. I just saw a enormous fish, Chris. Where? Straight off us to the left. But a lot of people think you gotta go so, so far to find those. Realistically, they just go to where the bait is. I mean, people have caught them off our local fishing pier. Believe it or not, some people even catch them off the beach if you get really lucky, but that is incredible that we just witnessed they're so close to us, Witnessed actually. literal mahi-mahi, dolphin, dorado, whatever you want to call them, on the drone from the beach. I can't believe it. Look at this sunset. This what? is what being fish guy is all about. Get outside, be a fish guy. Go check out fishguy.shop. It helps us so much. We, we can continue to keep making these videos with all your support. We appreciate you guys. Hopefully, we'll get this rod right over my shoulder bent here in just a few minutes, and then we're going to go search a tide pool. We're still waiting on, a, on a, some action with our bait, but I saw a nice turtle swimming around, which is cool. It's always a good sign, good sign to see some turtles. It's actually... Uh, the reason why the beach is so busy today with all these people is because it's, what is it called? Oh, I was with you. Oh, really? I thought Jack was serious. He told me it was Walk the Beach Turtle Day, October 28th. <laughs> we and got thought, here to the beach and there's so many people. I'm like, oh, Chris, I forgot to tell you. I, I don't know why we're even here. It's, it's National Turtle Day to like walk the beach with the turtles, so. Dude, I thought it was and it was cool to see the turtles. Shout out to, we should start a Walk the Turtle Day, October 20th. I know, that'd be dope. All right, I gotta land this thing. I'm gonna run out of battery. All right, okay, it's, probably, it's gonna happen right now. It's I probably feel our it. last shot of the night. At least the captured on drone. I think he just swam. That's by my bait right there. No, he just went right by your bait. They, dude, they know something's up. That was the close. That was a close call. He swam right by our bait again. Another, another shark swam right by our bait. Three for three on sharks. Just look at us off, dude. Look at us off. I still think we're just gonna leave that thing. All right. We're just going to leave it into we got, the night. We got to wait anyways is the thing because we need the sun to go down so we can look into the tide pool with our flashlights. So and There's a bunch of guys on the tide pool too. So. We are uh, We're just killing time. Killing time. Ah, we're on it, baby! We got ah! something, dude! We've got something. How does it feel? I don't know. Look we, at the we couldn't tell what it was. It was, uh, it's dark out as you can see, so I couldn't fly the drone anymore. No! What are we thinking? No, we might be there. What is it? Uh, it looks like he's just coming in. Nah, he's off. Stingray, shark. I think he's off, dude. No way he's off. There's still some weight, but I'm not feeling those head shakes. We're getting close. Is he off? Yeah, it's right here. No, we got robbed. We, got we robbed. had something, bro. Oh, he, he took it. He took it. I don't know if that was the shark. It could have been the initial bite. <sighs> All right, you can't say we but, didn't try. No, you can't say we didn't try, and it's literally pitch black out, and that's why we got our bites. It's only 7.30, though. It's only 7.30. Ah, oh, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's it. This light is so bright. We're out of bait, too. I only brought three mullet. Yeah, we're out of bait. We used all the mullet, and I think it's time it's dark enough to go to the that tide pool. That sucks. Yeah, let's Check go. it out. Nut. That sucks. We were close. That just goes to show you guys need to drop a like on this video if you guys want us to come back and do some shark fishing. Drop a like. I just feel like during the day, I can see in the drone better, bro. I know, but dude, they weren't eating at night. Unless we had a live bait. 
Yeah, we need to get a live. If bait. we had a live bait, we could do that sick video again. All right, we gotta walk all the way down to the tide pool, all the way down there, and uh, see what we can find. There it is, guys. The good old fashioned moon. What a beautiful and species. And we are pulling up to the spot. You guys can't even see it, it's so dark. We're pulling up to the spot now. We're gonna start looking into some tide pools. All right, we're taking our first steps into the tide pools. See, this is what we're looking for. It's little pockets of water. And hopefully, we'll stumble across something nice. Guys, I think we just stumbled across our first fish. I swear to you. Where? It was, it was, where? Where is he? It was in the river. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh there yeah, there, it's he is, there he is, there upstream. he is. Upstream. Look at that right <laughs> He's there. He's going upstream. He's fighting the current. What do we have here? Come here. Oh, come here, dude. Come here, dude. Looks like a glass nose. Yeah? Looks like a glass nose. Look at this crab, look at the crab, look at the crab right here. Look at the little crab. Capture him, dude. I can't, He's, I'm gonna smush him. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna smush him. him. I'm gonna smush him, it's look like, at that. This is our first puddle and we're already finding some crispy critters. It's always good to check the river first because yeah, they can, they can survive spot. in the river, that's the thing. Like they can survive in the river because there's oxygen flowing, but look at that fish right there. That is a oh, glass nose. Right in the freaking net. Glass nose right here. You can see he gets his name. The tip of the nose looks like glass. Look at that. They got little whiskers along the bottom. Actually a pretty good bait, believe it or not, but they look a little bit like a vampire fish and they got these crazy prehistoric looking mouths, kind of like a paddlefish. That does look really freaking weird. Right? He likes the little river here. I'm gonna let him go in the yeah, ocean. Yeah, let's let him go in the ocean. Dude. We don't want him trapped in the teepee. We don't want him to end up like this one. Look at this over here. Ow. I'm letting this thing go. I swear there was a dead one right over here when we walked up. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. See you later. See ya. All right, hey, hey out of here. fish found. In First fish found. That's so bright. It's actually insane how know. dark everything goes when that light is on. We I can't even see the camera. We should have caught that damn crab. Let's see if he's back there. Guys, we were walking. Oh, it's super hard to see. Come around the corner. He's in the shadow. We were walking back to the crab area. And look at what we found crawling around here. Another crab. One of the smaller arrow crabs we've actually ever found in our entire lives. I wish I could zoom in, but I'm holding a light. But that is so cool. He's really little. Really, really dang little. And the coolest part is that we actually see these all the time on the pier cam. They do like an underwater cam all the time. And they do a monthly there's recap. Ma there's massive there's ones on so there. There's so many big ones on there. This guy's a baby. Come here, dude. There you go, buddy. Like, he's like a land crawler. I think that's how these guys survive in here. Very, 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 very cool. <laughs> very interessant species. Very interessant. I don't Maybe. even know how that's a real thing. Let's let him live. Goodbye, yeah. my friend. Leave him back in his tide pool. Adios. See you later. Look at that thing, guys. That is the weirdest creature. I love finding them, though. They're they honestly are really sick, cool. and the big ones are cool. Look at those purple claws he's got. Such a weird thing. That's why you gotta look super carefully in this water, because he kind of blends into everything. Like, literally, he can blend right into the rocks, so. All right, that's a good crab find. On to the next puddle. Let's find some more creatures. Do not step right there. Now these are the puddles. Do not step right there. What, slippery? There goes the back. Oh my God. I don't know if I can make it back to, look at that. Yeah, it's no. ice. Dude, you gotta be careful not to step on the black stuff. Ow! What's that? Barnacle. Dead fish, there bird is. attacked. Bird attacked, oh, there he is. The bird? The bird ate this fish and left him here. Oh yeah, look at that, that's a croaker. Is it? No, I don't, yeah, that's a big old croaker. You got thing. pecked to pieces, dude. What is that? It's a pie pool of blood, bro. <laughs> pie pool of blood right here. It's a little worrisome, huh? Legit. Some bird went to town on this stuff, huh? All right, let's keep looking. Jack. Jack. Holy crap. In the river, like. Hang on, let me get my net. Three or four of them, bro. Let me get my net. Hurry up, I need dude. my net. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like three or four fish in there. Five. Can't find my net. They found I my net. I know what they are. Do not know what they are. Cannot see where I'm walking. Over. There's, they're all in the river, dude. The river. I know the river tonight. slaps. There's the river. Low-key slaps. I think they all went down river. Oh yeah, there's two right two here. There's two right here and one, one there. there. They're gonna be. These guys are gonna be speed demons. Come here, guys. I'll block them oh off. Oh my god. I'm like a dam one, right now. One, two, three, four. Four right here. Four right here. What are they? Croakers. croakers. What? Four freaking croakers. Four croakers. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is a bait fish right there. This is the last time we were here. You guys saw us catching those big snook at night. That is what we were using for bait right there. Literally that exact size, that exact fish. And these guys are here in the river. Watch, they'll swim down current. They'll get right out into the beach. See you guys. Get on out. Get out of here. Get out of and here. And sometimes, like there was a couple guys here fishing earlier. I know I've done it a couple times. You use the tide pools as a- Like a live well. Like a live well, yeah. Cause the waves kind of keep refreshing just like that. And the fish can survive in it. And sometimes I've never done it, but people leave them and uh, then they get stuck until the next high tide. So that could have been what happened. It is Friday, so people were probably out here fishing. I don't know, dude, because that thing leads, this Crab. river leads all Crab. the way from Crab. the ocean. 
Crab? I need a crab mini. Wow, that's a strange looking one, bro. Look at that little dude. Hey! He's gone. Look how well he blends in. You see that? Like, look at that right there. He blends right it's in with that. It's the ultimate camouflage. Like, look at him. He looks like a grain of sand. That's I like, literally can't even focus on him because it looks like he's still blending in. Look at that little dude. He's just cruising. Oh, look at him. He's all <laughs> stanced up. That's, that's lit. It. That's, that's lit. Just don't get dried out because it's almost low tide, buddy. See you, buddy. Go right back where I found you. See you later. This is where we're going to find him. Deep pocket like this. Yep, yep, fish. Oh, yeah, yep. Confirmed. Confirmed baby fish, baby SM. You can get him. I'll get him. You can get him easy, dude. I gotta get in the pool. Ah, sugar puff. I gotta get in the pool. Look at this little dude. He's asleep. He's fully asleep, dude. You're sneaking up on him. Yeah, he's asleep. He's asleep. He feels no. you. He feels you now, bro. You woke him up. I don't know if he's asleep. Got him. Yes. Got him. Baby. Got him. Look at that little, look at that little sergeant major, dude. Hey. World's hey. smallest SM, dude. That is so freaking cool. He was literally asleep. He was like colorless. All I could see moving was his shadow. Look at that. Still got bright yellow on him. Oh. I think it'd be there cool, you, you know, to have a bunch of those guys in the pond. I think so too. Thanks for the light in my face. You're welcome. Tango spotted, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? What is it? Okay, there's two, two, two tangos in Microscopic. here. Two tangos in here. This guy We're is leveling up. insane to find. Love finding these guys. A Look serious that. level up. That is sick. Holy That's crap. That's probably one of the coolest shrimps you can actually find in this place. Usually you get like little crabs and stuff, but sometimes you come across these guys at night and they're just chilling. He's trying to pinch me. He is trying to pinch me. Very you. cool shrimp. And uh, there you have it. Let him, let him chill, let him bob. Dude, he's dope. <laughs> Look at that he's dope. dope. He's cleaning you up. I love that thing. Sick. On to the next puddle, baby. On to the next. Oh, look at this. Move thing. your light a little. Wait, I gotta get this thing. What thing? Oh my god, microscopic shrimp. There's like three. There's like 20 in here, actually. 20 what? Microscopic shrimp? Yeah. What is this shrimp th crab thinking right now? There's just a giant. There's just a giant human being over top of them. Oh, what is that succulent? <laughs> that looks that like is a... interesting. Foreign bacteria. <laughs> yeah. Foreign bacteria. All right, on to the next bottle. On to the next bottle. Or tide puddle. Whoa. It's Halloween. I'm going, I just about took my toenail Many off. Many fish over here. Come with the net. I have it. Many fish, where? In this pocket. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. You gotta quick swipe him now. I see him, I see him. Right there's here. like right three right or, right here, right or right. No, no, there's like 20. Look at that goby, look at that goby, look at the goby. There's like 20, bro. Hang on, I'm gonna try to get the goby first. I'm falling. Okay, okay, hang on, let me dial in Just here. swipe a bunch of them. Got him. Crushed him. Crushed. Did we get a goby though? No, you didn't go for the goby. Get him, bro, get him. Oh, you got him. You got him. Guaranteed. Goby acquired. Guaranteed. No. What is that? It's not Goby. What is that? Baby glass nose? Oh, I just got soaked. What is this? Baby something. Baby permit? No. Baby Papano? It is. Oh, there goes one SM. That is crazy. It man. is. We never caught one of those. It's insane. Hey, something go, tiny. I don't know what that is. Comment down that, below if you know what the heck that is. Oh, there's another one. It's got to be baby Papano's. Sugar, he left. Out. He's, he they're they're all in this pocket. Just so wow, many fish. Wow, there's a lot of fish right here. A lot of fish right here. Infestation. Infestation. Look at this. It's the freaking Florida man. Florida man Steve Irwin. Freaking Florida Blind man Steve swiping. Irwin. Blind swiping. That's what Jack is. Blind swiping. Florida oh. man. On the blind swipe. On the blind swipe. Little tiny. That might be the one of the smallest we've ever caught. Yeah, that these thing, guys that is are microscopic. loving it in here. Look at that little dude. All right, let's keep moving. That was cool. You are Florida man Steve Irwin. Embrace it, dude. Gobies, like legit ones, not pompanos. Multiple gobies Multiple right gobies there. Multiple gobies inbound. You not see scorpion him? fish, right? Uh, they could be baby scorpion fish, actually. See him right there? Yep. Gonna go for the kill. Be stealthy. There's two of them. They're so wicked fast. Gotta cut that hole off. No, you, they got away. Wow. He escaped. That was impressive. He jumped. He, he puddle jumped. That was super impressive. He puddle jumped. That was really wicked. Good for him. That's wicked a, impressive. That's a Michael Jordan of gobies. That was wicked impressive. He's dead as can be. No, he's alive. Sand flea. Sand flea in the tide pool. He's alive. Sand he's flea. fully alive. Is he? Yes. Because he wasn't burying in. He was just floating around. Dude, he he's is alive. alive. He's alive. <laughs> he's alive. He's trying to dig in the sand. That is going to be one of the weirdest creatures God has ever created, dude. Literally, he was just like, give this guy a shell. <laughs> no eyes and a couple, you know, six legs. Yeah, like in some whiskers. So let's go put him back in the sand where he belongs to be, where he can maybe, maybe survive. What is that? Puddle of fish. Holy. Swipe him. Swipe him. <laughs> Swipe him. Hang on, hang on. Wait for him to puddle. Wait for him to pull again. Look at all those fish. I can't see, dude. No way. No, you didn't get it. Yes, I got him. Are those the Pompano things? Look at them all. 
They are, oh, I just lost the same They're thing. all darting around. Yeah, look at that. Those are the little baby palms. Look at that. There's so many of them. They're literally at our feet. Look at them darting right here. Look at them. Where's my There's little so flea many. go? Got the flea. It's literally a ridiculous amount of fish. Got the flea. They love the- uh, Snail. He's wedged. They love the tide pool, all the buggers. All right, let's put the sand flea back in the ground. You're right, you're right. Right here. This looks like a great location for him. There you go, sir. I think he's giving up on life, dude. Oh, there right. he goes. There he goes, there he goes. Beautiful. He's in, he's Give happy. some water, now. make it easier for him. He's happy now, he's right there. He's safe. Good for him. Imagine I just killed him. No, you would never I would do never. That. You're would Steve Irwin. Oh, I know, oh, I would Florida, never do Florida man Steve Irwin. Florida man Steve Irwin. What is on me, dude? You go be on my feet. That's bigger, get this guy, he's way bigger, dude. Where? Right, right there. I can't even get him. He's giving me no water to work with. <laughs> he's literally in a quarter of an inch of water. Got him, got him. He could be a baby scorpion fish and you could be going right to the hospital. That looks like a baby scorpion fish. I don't know what fish. that is. Dude, I don't like you. Get off. <laughs> I Go back home. Him, so I might be going to the hospital. Sorry, how are you feeling? I feel fine. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what an epic day, or shall I say evening, into the night that we had. I definitely enjoyed myself. Probably some of the best drone shots we ever got yet. Or at least, maybe not the best drone shots, but the coolest things we found on the drone yet. If you guys want us to come back and do a solely shark mission, let us know down below. Hit that like button, comment, let us know. Don't forget to go check out fishguide.shop. Treat yourself to something nice this holiday season. We'll catch you all in that next video. Later.